Hello everyone. Today I gave Microsoft Windows 7 release candidate a try on the Q Computer Mid Tower Deluxe. And I'm gonna go on this basically gonna go over some pros and some cons of Windows 7. This is the Windows 7 release candidate, of course, like I said. Build 7100 evaluation copy. And go over some details about it. Windows 7 Ultimate, that's what that's what the release release candidate is. And one thing I like about it is they have gave new su um a higher subscore amount to um seven where Vista stops at um five point nine, seven goes up to seven point nine. And as you see my RAM was not what used when Vista is a five point nine, now it's a seven point oh. Tells you how fast the RAM is compared to the Black Max, which only gets like a 4.3, something like that. I don't know. Lower scores DDR RAM. This is DDR2 memory, GIL RAM. Anyway, our graphics is the same as a 4.0. Our processor went up to a 5.0 for 4.9 in Vista. Our gaming graphics is now higher at a 5.2. And what gets me is my hard drive speed is still a 5.9. In Vista, I had a um a RAID 1 configuration which is a mirror RAID where it's not really for f performance it's just for a backup but I decided to change it to a stripe array while I went into 7 which in Vista with the RAID 1 configuration I was getting 120 megabytes per second now I'm getting with the RAID 1, with the RAID 0 stripe I'm getting 240 megabytes per second on the read and 180 on the write so that score should have went higher. I don't know why I didn't. But anyway, the rating thing is nice. It's better. It rates your computer better. And another thing I like is in 7, you have the freedom to move gadgets wherever you want to put them. Like you can put them here, you can put them here. You're not limited to a sidebar like you are in Vista, but I still like to put them over to the side. And I like the media center. Um, gadget, which you can probably get that off the internet for Vista, but one thing I don't like is the CPU meter is not, now it's like it used to move around in Vista, but now it just stays still and just does that and 7, don't know why they did that that wasn't really a bigger, big issue but the other thing I like about 7 is it is easy to set up it's like Vista on the installation area and what I have to say is um, the driver support in 7 is nice, very nice. Like when I, um, see like I just said, I got a RAID 0 stripe configuration on this computer, which is the NVIDIA Media Shield RAID, or MV RAID in older terms is what they used to call it. Okay, Windows 7, I already had a driver, I already recognized that I didn't have to install a RAID driver. I didn't have to dig out my motherboard CD, which I will have to. I'm going to put Vista back on this machine, which I'll explain why I'm doing that here shortly. Anyway, and when I got into um, Windows, it had a, it, a Microsoft now has a Windows driver for my graphics card, the ATI Radeon HD 3450, which I'd rather use the ATI driver, but anyway, just, just saying that it already had a driver for it. And one thing that's different, that is very different about Windows 7 is how the taskbar works. Here you have icons. Your um, tray icons are on a little hideout thing, which you can tell it shows certain ones and not show other ones. But that's a nice little feature to have. And another thing I like about 7 is how the windows are organized. You can just scroll across and see your windows and everything. And like here, if you have multiple windows of a certain thing open, you just go right here and see certain ones, which is a really nice feature. Let's kind of pull up all of the windows on here. Get them all pulled up. Now, show you another feature. 
you see how it hides out the other windows and you can just see this one very nice feature and like let's, let's go to the little let's get the calculator back up again new thing called it let's see if this works it's called arrow shake I don't know anyway really nice feature how you can um browse through and it hides out you can see the air you can like looks like shade the glass so you can see the one window that's highlighted with your with your cursor it's a very nice feature